hey guys welcome to the adobe illustrator tutorial of my channel learn anything and in this video we will learn about basics of adobe illustrator and finally we will create a simple wireframe or a website design like this so it's not about actually web de uh, website design okay in the way to design this website we learn about all most all the tools tricks and how to things how to use the artboards how to use the layers and all those things so let's start from beginning first of all we need to know why adobe illustrator and how the adobe illustrator is different from photoshop okay so adobe photoshop is the best tool for your imaging image editing and to do whatever with the photographs and images because it's really a powerful tool but actually your image is made of if you zoom in the photoshop you can see all these rectangles these are actually called pixels and your photoshop image or any of your image is made of these pixels so when you zoom too much or more than the specified limit to your picture actually it looks blurred why okay in the other way if you go in adobe illustrator and you draw one line you can see your line is made of all the those infinite points and these vector points no matter how much you zoom it it will never be blurred you can see we can zoom it till oh 6000 or 64000 plus and much more so this is the, your vector drawing or your vector illustration so that's the difference the vector illustration is made up of points and the image is made up of your grids or the pixels so what is the difference the apart from that one more difference in the photoshop and illustrator is the so file size of your photoshop outputs like jpeg gif and png is very low and that is why even your camera takes picture in your pixels not in the points or not in the vector because the file size is too much but at the same time we can zoom it at infinity so let's start from basic again from beginning we learn how to create the website like this and in the way we learn about all the tools and techniques so let's start from beginning let's set new and we'll open our new document for web and i'll say this the document one this is our first document this is for website okay here's the trick number of artboards is one okay but we are going to create two basic designs different for mobile and for web so we'll create two artboards We'll give spacing is fine and width this is normally given by your client or your developer but still we'll take for example we'll choose it for mobile 480 into 1400 so here you can see width is very low compared to height because in mobile you can scroll down to below but you cannot change your width right so oh, now we have two columns spacing two artboards we have one document we'll say it for web okay oh it's custom right and everything is fine we'll say yes now you can see we have two artboards and both are of same size this is for mobile and this is for web but we need to change the size of your web artboard so it's very easy we need to go here this is the artboard tool okay you can change the sign and everything for your artboard while going into the this tool and you can select the second one and then we'll change the size here you can see this is the width and this is the height so we'll say 1200 and that's a good 
size 1200 pixels and height will keep it same now you can see we have changed the artboard size of our second artboard or artboard 2 now you can see here uh, this overlapping so we need to take it at right just you can click and just drag it from here just or you can do it by arrow key your shift and arrow just make sure that these both are aligned and that is how we have our two artboards so here in the first artboard we'll design a website for our mobile and in the second artboard we'll design a website for web or your computer so in two sizes we'll do that if you want more then you can always create another artboard for tablet and you can design for that as well okay so now let's start okay one of the most wonderful thing about the Adobe Illustrator is you can have two artboards in the same document and you can change each and every entity size and you can resize it from here so you can see this panel if you want you can do whatever with your document with your artboard or wherever if you choose this artboard you can always go here and change the size so this is quite simple in Adobe Illustrator and that's what makes it a great tool now so one more thing uh, you should never never forget to save your document because if something happens accidentally you close your document or you do something or your illustrator closed down you will lose your job so we'll just save this document and come back I'll say file save as my document one I'll create one folder for this on my desktop I'll say control shift n web design and we'll save it just say save that's fine you can choose here see if you want to save it in older version if you want to see and open your document in the older version you can always choose it from here and say it's saved so we'll simply save this file or you can go to view and say rulers and show rulers or you can use this shortcut control r and you can see here now the rulers are appearing in your Photoshop uh, Adobe Illustrator window so we'll just click here and we'll take one ruler to adjust in a document we'll take another one now also look into the layers panel we'll say this we'll keep all the rulers and the guides in your one layer so that it will not be affected from your rest of the document when you are editing your document or when you are doing something when you are designing something you don't have to touch your rulers so we'll see rulers so it's don't find any of your panel here this layers artboards or these things swatches you can always go in the windows and you can choose it from here now you can see this is the layer or you can alternatively you can hit the keyboard key f7 see, there's no layer panel here and we'll go and choose it from layers here we'll draw one rectangle from very from the beginning and we'll fill the color in that how to fill the color we'll just choose this fill and choose any of your colors you can see now I'll zoom the document I will hit the control plus or I will just use the option key and scroll in the document so let's start from here we'll keep at corner 
and we'll say 5 pixel for width. So we have kept 50 pixel for our spacing. This is nothing but to give the space in all the corners of your document. So if you are giving some entity or some information it should not start from the very beginning it should always have some spacing or indentation so now we need to just enlarge this you can click on the rectangle whether you can hold this and enlarge otherwise there are the second way you can choose the direct selection tool choose these two anchor points and you can always press your down arrow key Press the shift key with your down arrow key, it will move faster. Or if you press the control key, control key with your arrow key, it will move slightly. Now, all I need to do is keep your ruler here at the end of this grid, and I'll take one more ruler, I'll keep it here. The same way, I'll copy this rectangle. Just hold the option key or alt key, same like Photoshop and move it in this side. And again, I will have two rulers, one is here and another one is here. So you can see now we have our spacing for our mobile design. Same way, we will keep this spacing for our website. Let's see this and this if you want spacing to be little more you can always change it from here and further if you feel so we'll do like that or we'll increase some spacing so now we have our layout and we can start working really on the content 